Hi, my friends. Today we are going to be playing with the new M Cosmetics bronzers. I have two shades here to test out and a couple other products that I just want to play with that are new to me. If you are interested in watching, continue watching if you're new to my channel. Hi, my name is Sam. I'm a makeup enthusiast. Makeup is my therapy. And yeah, let's get started. I first want to say that the release of these products was kind of a shit show. <laughs> Um, I was really, really excited. I'm a big fan of the M Cosmetics brand. I absolutely love their brow cream. This is one of my all-time favorite brow products ever, and I am wearing it today in the shade Espresso, in case you are curious. So, of course, when they announced they were coming out with these powder bronzers, I was very, very intrigued. And then after they made the announcement that they were coming out with these bronzers, they then announced that there was going to be some kind of bundle with a rougher brush. And I think that is where the launch went berserk because the website went down and you couldn't make any purchase of any kind for hours on end. I literally had to slide in their DMs and be like, what is going on? Um, so yes. We finally got the products and we are going to be testing them out. All right. So she released four bronzers. They retail for $36 and they were made in the US of A. And I believe she advertised that all four shades are universal, which I thought which was interesting. But you can clearly tell that there's kind of like a light, medium, kind of tan and dark bronzer i don't think that there's a bronzer that is dark enough for a deep category if if my opinion mattered in that at all so they describe it to have a velvety texture with a soft matte finish i picked up the jade's silhouette and sensual those were the two right in the middle and i wasn't quite sure which one i really am because to be honest my shades change daily at this point because it's the warmer weather. So that's just the way it is. The packaging is the same kind of packaging she normally does. This is the older packaging of the, what is this, Fede Clementine. This packaging is the same size and style, but it's in orange now. This is the new bronzer. So they're the same size roughly like as far as the circle but they are much thinner that makes sense because this the blushes are a baked formula so they have like a dome shape to them so of course they're going to need a little bit more space where the bronzers are flat they do have a mirror in the compact which is quite nice and again, this one is Silhouette and this one is Sensual. We're going to swatch them and then I'm going to put one on each side of the face and we'll see. Not much of a difference. This one is Silhouette and this one is Sensual. And I'm not sure we're going to see too much here. Yep, that's Silhouette. And then this one is Sensual. So it's really like, the undertone that seems to be different here. This one's a little bit more golden. And then this one seems to have like a little bit warmer, like peachy pink undertone. So we'll try them both and see how they apply. All right, so I got two different brushes here. They may apply it slightly different as this is natural and this is synthetic. But um, I think we'll still be able to see how it how they work the color and everything else so first we're going to go in with sensual on this side and i did a tap and then i dusted off the excess see if it even shows up on my forehead because my forehead is darker in case you're curious i'm wearing the l'oreal true match nude foundation in 67 tan today so I didn't really see much going on here. So it kind of blends in with my natural tan on my forehead. I am wearing a little bit of foundation on my forehead, but very thin layer. 
So my skin kind of has like a natural bronze to it. Now we're going to go in here. It's not really like pigmented bam in your face, but I can see it there. Trying not to go in like crazy heavy. All right. I feel like there's enough product on there right now. It has like a very nice, like soft sculpted look to it. Kind of has like a very neutral, almost olivey undertone to it. If that's a thing um but yeah I think it looks very pretty applied very seamlessly like I don't see it getting patchy or clinging to any parts of my skin let's look at the shade okay. silhouette it's a little bit more warm I think let's just use the mirror and the compacts Again, I'm not really seeing anything on my forehead. It's very light. I would really have to build it up, but not that I would want to because kind of is it like, again, a natural bronze. So let's try it here. Not sure what to think of it. I'm not sure that I really see much going on, honestly. I feel like it's just so soft that it's like not really doing too much. I can see it better now. I don't know that I see a huge difference between the two shades, if I'm being completely honest. Maybe post, um, when I'm like editing and stuff like that, I can see it a little bit better, but they both apply really well. Like the, I don't see any patchiness or like it's not clinging to anything. You do have to like build it up. I'm trying to see if I could see a difference between the shades and honestly, I don't feel like I can. All right, I just took a little bit of, of a better look and I do think that sensual, no, silhouette looks slightly more natural on my skin just because I think that um, sensual has a little bit of a like olive undertone. I think it would... It still works for my complexion, obviously. This would be nicer, I think, as like a contour and then maybe take silhouette just over it, which actually let's just try it just to see. We already know what it looks like on the skin right now. So let's just put a little bit of this with it. Just curious. Because this one's a, a little, it has like a little bit of rosy, like warmth to it. Where is the other one is a little bit more yellow, olive. Yeah, it's just so slightly, but you can tell the difference. I really like that it's super lightweight and like obviously really buildable. Um, but if you're of a darker complexion, you're going to be like spending a lot of time getting the, the color where you want it to be. I did pick up one of their blushes that I don't have in, um, uh, uh, Brococo. It was one of the blushes that came in the Masterpiece collection. It's supposed to be like a beige 
color. I want to try this. Um, and since we're already here, why not try it with you guys? So let's find a good brush for it. I really am kind of a big fan already of the baked blushes. My favorite one is the Venetian Rose, but. I figure this is a pretty like nude everyday shade. And it, her baked blushes have this beautiful like glow to it that you really don't need to wear a highlighter. Although she does have highlighters on her site. Straight on the side. I mean, like, look at how beautiful the sheen is on that, that you don't, you absolutely don't need a highlighter. So this is a win. Let's try, I also picked up a couple of these dewy eyeshadows. They're Cosmic Pearl Dewy Eyeshadows. I picked up three shades. I have been eyeing these for a while. Wasn't really sure what shades I wanted to get, but I figured since I was getting the bronzers that I would pick them up. This one is in the shade Star Child. And that's pretty much how it looks right there. I think that is going to be the closest to how it actually looks, and the packaging is quite cute. It's a lot bigger pan than I expected, which is nice. Next, we have the shade Luna. This one is Luna. These retail for $26. I should mention the blush retails for $34. And then the last shade I picked up was Helios. And this is what Helios looks like. I think I want to try this one just because it kind of matches my sweater. Um... And I did not prime my eyes. This is like a dewy formula. I, I wasn't sure. I'm like, do I prime it? Sometimes when you have a matte base underneath, um, cream shadows don't apply as well. They do last longer, but it just changes the color and the consistency a little bit. So I just wanted to try it on its own. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to put my finger in there because that's what I do. Put my fingers in. <laughs> so we're going to just... Apply this straight to the eye. Wow. I don't should have zoomed in. I will zoom you in for the other side, but holy, holy, holy smokes. I'm gonna just take a brush to kind of blend the edges. That is a gorgeous one and done. So let's blurt, bring you in. And we're going to make the magic happen on the other side so you can see it up close. This is absolutely beautiful. So there it is on my finger. You see that? <laughs> Pick up a little bit more. We'll swatch the other two. And then finish with this eye. That blur blended really nice, like even with my finger that I don't feel like I need to take out a brush. So that's Helios. It's like a very coppery orange. And then this one is Luna. Beautiful shimmer. It's like a silver champagne really pretty i want to put that in my inner corner and then we have star child which is like this pink shade here really dimensional they look super wet and like beautiful that pink has a little bit of a silver sparkle to it really really pretty Let's see if we can get some of this luna on my inner corner All right, it was a little messy, but I got it. <laughs> I think it still looks kind of pretty anyway. All right, I didn't pick up a lip product. I really wish that I did, but I just put on this um, ColourPop Lux Oil in Hot Sparks. Not that it looks like anything on my complexion, but they're very comfortable and I do enjoy that formula. 
But yeah, otherwise, I feel like everything looks really, really beautiful. I think if you are my complexion, I and you're thinking about getting the bronzers, I would steer you towards steer you towards silhouette. If you like a little bit, or if you have if you have kind of more of a neutral or an olive undertone, if you like something that's not as warm, then maybe I would go with sensual. But either way, honestly, if you get either shade, it'll probably work for you. The formula is super lightweight and easy. I mean, it's kind of foolproof, proof, honestly. But I feel like, I don't know, sometimes if you're a person who likes to do your makeup really quick and you like pigmentation, this isn't going to be for you because it's like definitely softer and more buildable. I did feel like I could build it up, but it's not going to be like instant gratification. It's not going to be like that Charlotte Tilbury. I think M Cosmetics does a really good job of just having like really solid basic products that are elevated and elegant. And so I think this definitely falls in line with their product line. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with the purchase. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And until next time, love you guys. Bye.